Hello elites and welcome to a new series of mine. This is Plants vs Zombies on Xbox Live. And we're gonna go ahead and start right away because I'm not gonna waste any time like most YouTubers will go like, take a time, take a second to subscribe and like and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Neither do you guys, so I understand how it is from viewership. So here's this lovely intro, which I made my intro. <laughs> And um, we're gonna start. I can't wait to play this game. I know it's not the second game. The series may not be as interesting, but you know what? I can't play the second game because <laughs> I don't know how to record my uh, my phone screen, which that's probably gonna be more money. So I don't think I can do that right now. I'm saving up for college, so we can do that later in life. Uh, do this. Yes. I already have two pea shooters, and the level hasn't even started yet. So the difference between Xbox Live. I did play a little bit off camera just to see how it plays. It's actually not bad, you know? Uh, you get to select. Where is it? Look, the sun follows you. Uh, you get to select with the right bumper and left bumper, what kind of seeds you want, and you just plant. You just basically press A when the seed is ready to plant. Watch. Give me, give me sun. Come on. Today. There you go. Boop. See? It's very, it's very easy. And then later on when you get the shovel, you just hold B down and it'll delete it. Wow, final wave already. What is it, two zombies? How big can your final wave be? Oh, I'm dead. Is it two zombies? Is there a third one? Please give me a third one. Make this harder on me. Uh, okay, well, we collected the sunflower, yas. So we are gonna advance, probably in the first two episodes, through this um, first level of the game, which is the front yard daytime, really, really quickly, because um, they're very easy levels. And I like how there's a different kind of like bush mechanic now. Because, um, yeah, see, you can change into that. Um, because you can't see, you can see where they're coming from, what lane, but you can't see where exactly, or what it is yet. So it's kind of more different than a regular, like, phone version or whatever kind of version, PC version, where they just pop up from, like, they just pop up from the street and you can see them ahead of time. Like, look, the first one, it's probably not gonna appear yet till we have, like, four, we can get four sunflowers, I think. Can we? Let's do it. Yep, let's do it. Okay, let's do Pea Shooter first or Sunflower. Pea Shooter first. So he's coming from this lane here. Then we're going to do three columns of um, Sunflowers for now. And then we'll probably do up to like two or three columns of Pea Shooters. I'm very strategic with this game, guys. So I'm very excited to show you my strategies, how I do this, how I can complete this game. Because when I watch other YouTubers play other Plants for Zombies games, you know, on their phone, and the second game, you know, it's about time. They're not very strategic. I don't mean to, you know, talk down about them, but they're not very strategic. They're kind of like, oh, I'll just plant this. I'm good. I'm fine. Three bucket heads walking towards one lane that only has one pea shooter. I'm like, you're not good. <laughs> I don't know if you see it or not, if you're blind, uh, but you're not good at all. Um, there we go. See, right now, this is pretty good defense. We got um, regular zombies coming in, which is not hard at all. One pea shooter can take them down real easy. Come on, give me one more sunflower so we can get full sun. There we go. Alright. And, um... Man, I should have played this a long time ago when it's fresh and new, but... Sorry, guys. It's okay. It's never too late to play a video game. I played Saints Row series on my channel three, four, or five years after they came out, after the first game came out. So, that's because people didn't record video games back in 2006. But now they do, in the modern day. In the modern day, everybody's a YouTuber. Or at least, you can be. It's very easy. No application needed. Well, kind of. You need to apply to YouTube, you know, like create an account. Look at that. Our first achievement for 10 gamer score, which sucks. Soil your plants. All right, come on, guys. Let's do this. We'll do three rows of pea pods, pea shooters, pea motherfuckers. Let's do it. Um, just to let you know, also, if you're a child, sorry, I'm not very child friendly. Um, I don't keep my words to myself. Um, I will say what I say. I'm unfiltered, so I'm real. I'm 100% real, I'm not one of those fake YouTubers who's all La La Land fucking Disney, so I will be as real as possible. Um, if you don't like it, then oh well. <laughs> Just don't let your mom hear it, close the door. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Um, now this next round is interesting because we have the Cherry Bomb. We won't really use a Cherry Bomb until like the end of the level. I don't really use it until then, anyway. Um, Alright, come on, zombie. Come on, Zombosis, you're in the last last uh, row here. Come on. Yes, there we go. We're going to do uh, three columns again. So, yeah. That's how that goes. Um, there we go. Collect sun. More sunflowers, please. Please. 
Zombies, please. Oh, of course you're gonna come in a different lane and I don't have enough stuff. Come on. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that'll be enough peas to kill him. It takes about 10 peas to kill a regular zombie with a pea shooter. Trust me, I've counted before. I'm crazy. I do that. I don't do that for every plant, though, so once we get later into the game, I won't know many statistics like that. <laughs> it's just, you know, me count- Because, like, they come in so slow, so, like, nonchalant. It's just easy to count, you know? Look, watch. One, two, three, and at five peas, he loses an arm. Four, five, their arm pops off, and then ten, their head pops off in a bit, so... Seven, I think. Eight, I think. Nine, I think. Ten, actually. There we go, yeah. So, it was ten. My bad. I started on the wrong number. <laughs> but yeah, that's how they kill. I can't wait, guys. It's gonna be very boring at first because, you know, it's the beginning of the game. Of course, it's slow. But I'm gonna work my strategies to get us out of here faster, okay? We're gonna get to the end of the game faster. And, um, we're not only gonna get to the end of the game, but we're also going to do all the bonus levels and all that. We're gonna work our money to unlock those and stuff like that. So I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Okay, two pea shooters should kill a cone head. But because we didn't start killing him sooner, we gotta go ahead, go ahead and put three already. So wait, oh look, see, look. He just came to the bushes, so we're gonna go ahead and put two. Two will definitely take him out. Definitely. But if he gets too close, then the third one might be possible. So let's do the third one. Oh man. And then bucket heads are gonna start coming soon. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's actually really cool. They give the animation to the bushes of them being able to walk through the bushes. That's pretty cool. I think that's that's what I like about video game creators. They don't make it the same on every platform, which sucks because, you know, some platforms get treated better than others, but <laughs> um, some platforms get special features that others don't, so it's like kind of cool to have it on all kinds of platforms. I have the regular one of the first game on my phone I've been playing, just, you know, for shits and giggles for myself while I'm bored. And then uh, I, I want to download the second game again, but I hate the second game. Here's why. There we go, see? We got the walnut. The walnut. Put your nuts on the wall. So, um, the reason why I hate the second game is because it's too freaking difficult. Like, oh my god. They they up the difficulty to like freaking ten times more than it is in the first game. Then the hardest level in the first game. That's like, what? I can't even. Like, um, if y'all have played the second game, spoiler alert, um, the beach levels from the 60s, those are hardest. Because, oh my god, I couldn't even get past the third level. I was like, nope, I'm done. I hate this game. I deleted it. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing it's still free, so I can re-download it and just, you know, give it a second chance. A third chance, actually. I think I deleted it one more time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and be shooter there. And we're going to do two columns of sunflowers now. That's my strategy, usually, which is two columns. And then, um, peace shooters and whatever. We just put as many columns as we can. I like to fill up the yard. So whenever I can, I like to fill up the freaking yard with plants. Because it kind of gets you through the level faster if you kill the zombies faster. Right? So, that's how that works. Alright, we're, we're gonna keep doing our sunflowers until more zombies come. Okay, now we got one in a different lane, finally. It's actually a good thing if they keep coming in the same lane, so I can just keep killing the same ones <laughs> with the same pea, and I don't have to spend money on another pea. Alright. Let's go, come on, team plants. Let's do it. Do it. Do it, roar. <laughs> Alright, there's a cone head coming, and that's not good. We're gonna go ahead and put that there, because we'll probably do about three rows, and then the level will end. It's only one flat. We're already almost halfway through anyway. But, you know, it'd be nice to complete the wall. You know, make it look symmetrical. And not, um, that's the thing about the second game, is symmetry is nice, but you can't really do it, because you're just gonna end up losing plants like crazy, and you're gonna end up losing if you worry too much about um, symmetry, so let's go ahead and take out this pea shooter, I mean this <laughs> this cone head here, we're going to go ahead and put a, there you go, a walnut, we'll do the same pattern we did last time, alright we're full on sunflowers so now it's all about pea shooters and walnuts, so let's keep collecting some like crazy, wow it's dropping a lot, I feel like it's faster than this version, I don't know, I feel like it is because I'm getting some like crazy, alright, go. Um, one right there. There's no worry, but we could just kill him. I bet you that one right there is going to be a pump head. How, about, how much do I bet? Ooh, I knew it. I knew it. Of course, the game would do this. So, there we go. Our usual walnut. I think we'll only be able to get two columns of uh, pea shooters, which is okay with me. I don't mind. 
there we go. Alright, we have the same amount of firepower, except for that lane now. That lane's most powerful. Oh, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. 3P should kill him fast. Alright. If I'm not mistaken, Coneheads take 20 Ps to kill, I think. 20 or 25? I'm not sure. You guys probably know the statistics in the comments. Go ahead and tell me, I don't care. I like knowing statistics. It's fun. It's like, oh, why not? Alright, one more. Can we plant one more peach? Will there be enough time? I'm not sure. I don't know how many episodes or uh, levels we'll be able to get through with each episode. We're already kind of halfway through. That's pretty cool. Um, but we'll see. Let's just blow them up and then... We want to get to the levels faster. That's the thing. Alright, come on, come on. Can I put a pea shooter down? Oh, okay, well, whatever. We got the shovel anyways. Wow. Young the shovel. The magical almighty shovel. So yes, we know what that does. We don't have to read the description. <laughs> Duh. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let the digging commence. <gasps> dig, dig, dig. You just hold B, and there you go. There you go. Yes. Yes. Yes, we're going bowling. Yes, because he's crazy. Alright, guys. Next episode. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe today if you haven't. I hope you did. Tell somebody about this channel. I'll see you in the next video that I create. And so, goodbye, Leeds. Goodbye.